Shame, Shame that, that tune. tune. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, you are gathered here tonight in this holy cathedral of music, comedy, and infotainment at the dawn of a new millennium to witness a game show like no other. A game show where your fate is decided by a wheel. A wheel that clicks as it spins. A game show where you'll hear stories so shameful they'd make Cosmo blush. A show where you hear songs so hastily composed the batter is still mostly wet. Are you ready to shame that tune? Brian Costello and started here we go when life gives you a story too shameful not to share yes <laughs> like wedgies in a locker room or bubble gum in your head <laughs> there's a game show always standing by to take you there what's it called shame Spin the wheel of genres before that. Oh! And in that genre, I'll compose a song. Please don't think me a prick, cause I shame that too. <laughs> the crowd will let you know it's good by the noises that y'all make. And then they just might win themselves a gift card or a tonight's family themed episode of shame that tune i am a bulls fan a bud man and i'm behind a baby grand for my name is abraham levitan thank you that was the peak of the show right there and over here he comes to us from the Mystic Lotus Center for Positive Visualizations from Santa Frittata del Norte, California. He is our keeper of time. Please welcome the Life Coach. And over here, same general direction, she was sent to us by the hideout to work for us free of charge. She is our intern, and her name is Miss Vanessa Williams. Miss <laughs> Vanessa Williams. <laughs> hey, I, I bet she'll be saving the uh, best for last, won't you, Miss Williams? <laughs> Just uh, like, like that song. You know? Oh, well, uh, forget it. Uh, anyway, moving right along, it's my honor to introduce our Obie-nominated interviewer, and one of Was Up Magazine's 100 Most Intriguing People. You know him, and you think he's usually not bad, Mr. Brian Costello. Albanian boy afraid to see the taint light of the moon. With a rigged 
Tony Radio playing songs about some mystic macaroons as he told her about the caramel in Saskatoon. Brian, what are you doing? I just introduced you. We, we've got a show to do. Hey, everybody. Hey, hi. Uh, sorry, the finals are this weekend, and I gotta, you know, uh, practice. Finals? Yeah, you know, for the big uh, 26th annual Paul Simon Graceland Freestyle Lyric Off. Um, you guys know about this, I'm sure. Uh, it's kind of like that movie 8 Mile, but not quite as cool, because uh, instead of freestyling hip-hop and such, we freestyle lyrics inspired by the Paul Simon album Graceland. So if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> A man sits in his day-glow bed, a half chub poking out like a subway dream. <laughs> and take a dab wait, 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 wait a second, Brian. So you freestyle lyrics inspired by the Paul Simon album, Graceland. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Well, okay. As, as a musician, I am pleased to say that uh, I have been an apprentice to Paul Simon's songsmithing workshop. Uh, for as long as I can remember, a dear, dear fan. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> you know, uh, even though it's the finals, you can still you can still sign up to compete. There's plenty of room. And, no, you know, you... no, no, no. That sounds stupid and implausible. But I would like to try to do some, what do you call it? Freestyling? Yeah, uh, it's fun. Here, let me show you, okay? On a green, gray December afternoon with a girl who wears double stuff Oreos in her shoes. <laughs> She'd rather be down home with Rubik's Blues. Singing songs about Tank Bacon and Rod Carew. Taint bacon. That's uh, interesting. Uh, well, let me try. Let yeah, me try. yeah, do it, do it. Do you want Abraham to try this, don't you? Come on. Paul Simon, you guys love him. I'll try anything once. Okay. Why she puts it there on a Pan American coach flight to O'Hare? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's great, Abraham. Uh, so let's uh, now we've done that. Let's start the show, okay? Let's just go ahead and start. A man got anal retention now. Got Cheeto stains all over his fingers now. Got Mr. Pip in the house of detention now. Got got achy torse, sore taint, and ooh. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, this has nothing to do with our uh, tonight's family-themed episode of Shoe. Freestyling. Let's just go ahead and uh, play some, you know, shame that tune. All right. Oh, where were we, Brian? Okay, we're back. Oh, okay. Back to the show. Um, uh, anybody's first time here? Uh, need, we're not a play. Uh, we have three contestants. They come up one at a time. They tell an embarrassing or shameful anecdote from. Adolescents, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, or maybe they have a diary from that time. They do this for three minutes, and I have the pleasure of interviewing them for four minutes. And as all that's happening, Abraham Levitan over here on the piano composes is composing a song in the style of whatever they've spun here on the wheel. What? Yeah, yeah. And I thought I was done for the night. Nope. <laughs> Get comfortable. You're gonna be there. Okay. And uh, they do a song in the style of whatever they've spun here on the wheel. And then at the end, we put them up here in the empty chamber of shame, and you, the audience, picks the winner. Okay? So tonight is our family themed uh, wheel of shame. Let's go through the uh, categories here, uh, provided by our lovely intern, Miss Vanessa Williams. Okay? Uh, let's see. We have Sister Christian. That's odd, because Christian is a, is a boy's name. That's right. It's it's a I don't know. It's a head scratcher. Yeah, it makes you think. Okay. Blur girls and boys. Blur girls. The blur. Girls. That's about putting the two genders together. Yeah. Making. It's, uh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, we are family. That seems pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. yeah. With arms wide open. Ooh. That's as if you're receiving a very heavy load of some kind. Is that, is that the combo Creed? I a popular yeah. favorite here at the hideout, I'm sure. That's so maybe that is. Creed, Florida Zone. Florida Zone, I'm proud of the rich musical heritage of my homeland. I, what's it say? Uh, oh, Cat's in the cradle. 
That's that's funny because you think that a baby would be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that sounds as a very cute image that you would look around and suddenly see a small cast. Twist. Yeah. Twist. Twist on that. That's cute. Love child. Love child. I do too. <laughs> I do too. Daddy sang bass. Uh, he sure did. Fisherman. Fishing song. Sang two. Sang two a bass. Two a bass. Okay. Okay. Uh, Natalie C. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. Oh, yes. Yes, that's, I, that's I do a, remember that one. That was when she was singing to the corpse of her father. Yes, that's right. That's right. Lovely. Very sentimental. Yes, that's, that's right. That's right. Uh, is not she lovely? Isn't she lovely? Uh, she lovely. Yes, very much. Absolutely. Danzig, Mother 93. 93. I don't know that one. That was, he must have gone through a lot of takes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the two of us. The two of us. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. was where the, the Fresh Prince takes his son to a sound stage for the first time. Oh, that's right. That's right. And, and that's they right. begin rapping to one another. The little Fresh Prince. Yes. Yes. The, yeah. That's, that's I great. love that. He says such cute things for a kid. Yeah, he does. He yeah. sure does. Um, Question mark. This is where we ask you, the audience, to uh, shout out a suggestion for a category here. So if you have any ideas, uh, please feel free to shout them at the top of your lungs. Uh, family theme. Fly so if you have any ideas, uh, okay, so we're going to count in one, two, three. Grand oh, the the by a reindeer. My mom coming home. I'm overwhelmed by the shouting here. It's crazy. It's, uh, it's like a hurricane. Uh, my mom coming home. Okay, Sly and the family stone. Wow. Uh, mom, I'm coming home. Um, Gary's got a boner. So we're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, over, oh, yeah. I'm over, overwhelmed. This is rather an overwhelming feeling. It's like Mother and child I don't know. being on the precipice of a tidal wave. I know. I know. Uh, but, but we're going to go with that uh, that agitated young woman who broke the rule of uh, shouting too soon. And we'll be rewarded by having her category selected. So it's yes. Sly and the Family Stone. Yeah. Sly and the Family Stone. Okay. okay. We call that negative reinforcement. <laughs> okay, and uh, I neglected to mention here, we have a uh, life coach up here. He's the keeper of time. So when the readers or when I'm doing the interview, uh, how do we know when we're uh, running out of time? We know that because the life coach lights a stick of incense. And uh, life coach, what, uh, what scent have you brought for us today for our family themed show? <laughs> Well, Brian, for the theme of tonight's show, family, I thought long and hard about what warm scents bring me back to them. Yes. Tonight's scent is Uncle Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ted. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So when you smell Uncle Ted, you know it's got another minute or so to wrap it up. Okay. All right, guys, so let's play some Shame That Tune. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to bring up our very first contestant. So 